I've been using it now for probably three or four months, five months. Okay. And uh, it has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, it's very useful. I have something called thoracic outlet syndrome, which makes it difficult for me to use my arms and hands and control a keyboard and a mouse. Okay. So I use this as an assistant and it works great. I've got control with my eyes now, with a mouse, and let's say I want to go and I want to look at a document. So I want to go to documents, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to click, and it opens my documents. So it says a magnifying feature, so if I wanted to get into that small little box, I can click on it, and just like that, it opens up all of my documents. I uh, use this in conjunction with something called uh, voice recognition, and it comes standard on Windows 7. So I'll go up to this particular point here, and then I can click on it, and you'll see it moves the cursor into place. And then once it's in place, I can activate my uh, voice recognition software, and then I'm ready to go. And then as you can see, as I talk, the words automatically go up. I've got my adjustments made to this particular part of the document, but now I want to scroll down to a different part. And what I can do is I can use my eye mouse, I can go over to the sidebar and click on it, and it will scroll down through the document itself. Now, I also have the ability to go up and work on the features that are up above. So if I wanted to make things bold, I can actually go and look at the bold and then click on it, and then what I, what I say from that point on with the voice recognition will become bold. So, and, and the same thing with all the other different features, whether you're looking to change colors, fonts, you have that capability. And then, once again, with these smaller features, you can always use a magnifying glass, bring that up to where you want it to be, click, and then it magnifies the area. This, like this particular area happens to be font, so if I wanted to use a larger font, there, now the font appears, and then I can use the tracker to go down and select whatever font size that I want to use, and then I'm ready to go. There's a couple of other really neat features for it, and here's one of them. Uh, if you could copy and paste things quite easily. I, I go to the file that I want to find. In this particular case, I have a file called Desktop Files, so I'm going to open that. and I just hold a long blink, and that double clicks and opens this up for me. And then what I'll do is I'll use my magnifying glass to reach up in here into the corner and I will minimize this particular file. Now you also have a drag feature. As you can see, tell one file is on top of the other right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click and drag. So I use the click feature on the menu. I come up and I will click on the top of this and it will go wherever I look. Once I have it to the place I want it to be, which we'll say will be here, I click again and it stays in place. So I'll scroll down until I find uh, a picture that I'm looking for. So I find this picture here and what I'll do is I will go down and I will use the right click feature on the menu. I'll right click. Then I right click and you'll see the options come up for what I would like to do with this picture. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to copy. I hit the right click feature again and it asks me what I want to do and you'll see the paste feature has come up. I paste and there it is. Um, something else that it works very well with is the internet. Uh, and I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of that. Great. So I'll do it down and do is I'll click on my internet and I will say I want to check my email. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and go home. And here's my home page. And then I can browse around and I can click anywhere on the internet and open up anything that I'd like to. In this particular case, I'd like to check my mail. So what I'll do is I'll go to the Gmail account that I have and I will just click on it. And as you can see, it opens it up. So if I want to look at an email, I will go ahead and I can open that email. And here's, here's one from Cody, who's filming me here today. So I will, I will just look at his email and I will double click on it. 
and then it opens. So here I have the email that he sent me and uh, let's say I'd like to respond to him. Well it's very easy to do. Um, all I have to do is go over into my reply tab and click on it and now it's ready to go. And once that happens um, I just use my voice recognition, I turn it on and I can reply. Cody, comma. It's very nice to have you here today. Period. I really enjoy the eye tracker software. Period. It makes it possible for me to use my computer again, allowing me to be both productive at home and at work. Period. New paragraph. Mike. Michael? I just hit insert and then it puts everything into place for me and there's everything that I just dictated and it's right there. So then when I'm done I just look up at the send button I click send and that's it. Cody will get my email and I never had to touch my keyboard or my mouse one time.